the, as, as you know, the, the title of the course is a representation theory of generalized small quantum groups. And uh, here I write the objectives of the, of the course. First of, uh, as a first objective on uh, the first part of the talk of the course, we will see or we will study the representation theory of, of algebra with triangular decomposition. And I will explain uh, a little bit uh, later, which is uh, this kind of these algebras, but they appear very natural in the in in several in several parts or, or subjects of the, of the mathematics. For instance, they appear in, uh, in enveloping Lie algebras. And maybe these are the the first place where they appear, and, and the um, and then most of the ideas that we will exploit are generalization of this kind of algebras, and then appear this the restricted. We can consider another example restricted enveloping Lie algebra, which are uh, like enveloping Lie algebra but in positive characteristic and. Um, also, another example which appear are the leucistic small quantum groups. And in the context, uh, or more generally, what, what I will talk in the second part are these triple doubles. which are certain generalization of the small quantum group. I, I will define it later, in, maybe in the, third, in the third stage of the course. And another example of algebra with this triangular decomposition are the restricted Cherednik algebras. These are examples, very important example of this kind of algebra what, which we will study. Um, for this part of the course, uh, I will follow a paper of Bellamy, Bellamy and Thiel. You can see the precise reference of, of this paper in the, in the resume of the course. Um, but more, yeah. They, uh, anyway, th th there are a lot of literature about this kind of, of, of the where you can find the same result that I, I will tell you. And must uh, they this uh, maybe they are not so general, or maybe they consider some of these example of some or, 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 or some of, or of this example in a separate way. But here you can find most uh, the most important result in in a very uh, general way and in the second part of the course i i want to to see how how to apply these results in the context of hof algebras mainly in this kind of hof algebra with uh, dreamfield doubles which are this this algebra that i call generalized small quantum groups and for this I will follow a, a paper of mine, but, uh, which is also in the in the reference of the course in the in the resume. Okay. Yeah, there is a question. Please cannot hear your problem. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I will try. To, uh, do Do you hear me, or I will try to speak more more low. more slowly Cornell I will uh, well, okay uh, there is some part that you don't hear very well uh, uh, something that you want to ask me Cornell Cornelli is 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 low the the volume he said no it's fine okay I will try to speak more, more up. Okay, uh, so I, I will start. I will, we will start with the first part and we will start with definitions. 
with some definition. Uh, uh, I will fix some notation. And um, okay, notation. Uh, during the course, K will be a, a field. Will denote the field. And A will be a, a great will be a graded algebra. That is mean that it has a decomposition in grad in vector space. The, it is a finite will be a finite dimensional graded algebra. Graded algebra. Let's see, yeah. And what what does mean that it is graded? This means that uh, that these direct sums satisfy that when you multiply two of them, the result is contained in the, the sum of the. In, if you multiply a sub i plus, uh, times a j, will you obtain the result? It, it is contained in a plus j. That is mean that it is a graded algebra. And um, okay. Um, yes, yes. And um, and M, uh, I will denote M, M A. It is the category of great uh, category of left A, a modules finitely generated. And okay, uh, finitely generated, and as as I assuming that it is k is a field, it, it is it is the same to say that it is finite, it's of the finite dimensional, and g of a will be the category of graded models. Graded. Over a, a modules. Okay. Um, and sometimes I uh, okay. I'm. What does mean? I, I recall what it is mean that is a, a module is graded. It means that M is in the category of graded modules. It means that it is a left module over eight, but also it admits the composition as A. It has a direct sum of the composition such that if you multiply A, no, if you multiply, if you add the component of degree E. With the co to the component of degree j of m, the result is contained in the component of degree a plus j. Yeah, the the, su the sub index index in indicate the the degree of the component or the direct sum. Okay, that that is just as some basic notation and another one which will be appear often uh, is that is this one ah and uh, most of the result that i told you which hold in uh, in the category of uh, of normal model or also in the category of graded model it will hold in both categories so sometimes i will use the letter c to denote m or g so you, uh, take, uh, keep, keeping this in mind, I will denote here C of A. It will be the the family of simples modules 
in the category C of A. If it is G, is the is a simple graded model of not is a normal model and graded. Okay. Uh, there is some question. Okay, excuse me. No, uh, 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 that, that, uh, a, a, a sub a, th this is just a, a vector sub a space. And the same for m. This is also a vector sub a space. And, and you see here, this condition ensure that it's, it is not a, a, a sub module because when you act by A, this it will go to another component. Is this fine? Are you on? Not really. Okay, just for the definition, this is a direct sum uh, as, uh, as A is a K algebra. Okay, as A is a K algebra, then uh, it is a K, a K vector space. Then th this direct sum is a direct sum of vector space. This A sub A, A this will be just a sub, sub space. That's okay. Okay. And then the same call for M for M. This is M is, is a vector space with the direct sum decomposition. The, the, uh, I, I now uh, I can show you an example here. Example. We can take uh, A as the polynomial algebra in two variables, x and y, and quotient of, but the relation x to the square, e to the square. So x to the square is zero and e a to the square is, is zero also. So as a vector space, uh, okay, then you see one X and Y is the basis of A. Then A is equal to the direct sum, the, this direct sum, you can, you can take uh, the vector space generated by A, which is just one dimensional vector space. And then you can take this other vector space, be generated by one. And generated by A. This is direct sum decomposition, and we can say that we pick that it is in degree minus one. This is you can see here. This is a zero, and this is a plus a one. So this is an example of a graded algebra. This is a, a direct sum decomposition. These are one dimensional vector pseudo space. Okay.
Well, now we, I will post the main definition, which is uh, what is it, uh, an algebra with a triangular decomposition. So this is the definition. And, and I will follow the, the notation of this paper of Bellamy and Tial around the course. Uh, so in order you can find uh, easily the, all the results or definition if you have some dude and you can go to for details. So this is the notation of the paper of Bellamy and Tial, 3.1. So we will say that A is a, is an algebra with triangular decomposition. We'll use color. And I, I, I will resume this just by TD. Is there is, if there is this triple, the triple, the triple, which uh, a plus T and a minus. No, sorry, a minus, a plus, sa sa satisfying uh, this property. I will denote. The zero condition, or the first condition is that you can take the tensor product of this, these are vectors space, this, uh, a, uh, okay, sorry, it's a triple. It's a triple of vector sub graded vector subspaces such that. So A minus T and A plus are graded subspaces of A satisfying these properties. The zero property is that if you consider the tensor product of, of them and you apply the multiplication, this is an isomorphism. This is the fair condition that they have to satisfy. Is an isomorphism, isomorphism of, of vector space. Yeah, I will write all the condition and then I will give you an example with this algebra, the algebra that we see before. And the, the other condition that they have to satisfy is that T, the subalgebra T of the datum, is contained in degree zero. It's all contained in degree zero. Um, the, and the other part, A plus, has to be contained in the direct sum of the positive degree of A. And the negative part, I will, so it is I plus is containing the positive degrees, and if you consider the negative part, it's contained in negative degrees. No, so yeah, so you can write this way. The other 
condition that they have to satisfy is that if you consider the, the zero degree part of of the the zero degree part of the of a plus it is just the field and the same for the negative part and we have three condi two conditions more the third one is that uh, if you multiply the positive part with t it is the same that you obtain the same subspace space if you multiply it uh, in the twist way but this not mean that they they commute they uh, just as a as a as a sub vector space and the same it could hold if you consider the negative part and last one it is a technical condition will be important in order to study the the simple modules is that t is a split and this means that if you consider the endomorphism of t modules of every is we reduce a simple module over t this will be a field if for instance if t is a semi-simple algebra then it, then it is ever hot And I, I, I show you, now I will show you that uh, this algebra satisfies all these assumptions. Or, or, yeah. Example. Uh, okay, the example. And, and, and that is more, uh, Okay. In this example, I follow the, with this example, A is equal to the, the polynomial algebra in two variables with x to a square and e to a square equal to zero. Then here you can consider A minus, we can consider A minus as the subalgebra generated by x. which is this one, this is a subalgebra. So notice that it is as a vector space, this is one and X, this is contained in A. This is contained in degree zero and degree minus one. I follow, I continue with this degree in the, in, the, in A. We take t equal to um, just the field. Yeah, this is the subalgebra generated by one. This is containing an e zero. And I, a plus is this the subalgebra generated by a y? y Uh, to the square is zero. And it's uh, the basis of this vector subspace one and y. It's contained in the in you see in degree zero and degree one. So using this this three subalgebra, you have that it is a, a is a triangle is an algebra with triangular decomposition. So this is T, A minus T and A plus is a triangular decomposition is 
the triangular decomposition of A. Any, uh, so, uh, can you see this example? Uh, do you have any question? Yes, let me ask the question, please. Uh, the second Francisco asked the second condition say that a, a zero degrading of a plus is the field yes uh, uh, the, yes this is the second condition uh, sorry the second condition here say that the, the degree zero of a minus and a plus is just the field and why it's called a triangular uh, because i suppose because of this uh, three part because of is it is uh, this datum is of three sub algebras <clears throat> okay now uh, now I, I, with this example that i i, I post you no, no more question with this example I, I will show you what what uh, what we will prove around the first part of the, of the course mainly uh, when I when I posted before that one of the, our objective is study the representation theory of a, of an algebra the first question what I realize when you study the representation theory is well what the the most important of the more basic uh, modules are the simple model. So the first what one to know is which are the simple models. We have a classification of the simple models. And in this case is yes, we have a classification and we can classify K, the simple model of the A algebra in terms of the simple model over the algebra in the middle. So I will show you in an example how, how, we, how it is work in this case. Okay. So uh, I follow with this example of this idea uh, before, and you can note note uh, we can note that that uh, I will denote lambda. Just the field with uh, uh, with I denote by one lambda the the generator of this is uh, is the unique simple A model and how how is the structure of A model of this object well just one act in one lambda just as the identity and x how acts by zero and the same by y or y 
this is the structure of a module of this object and this is the only simple module and how how we can construct them and in and in i now i give you the the how the, all the element of devices acts and but let me show you how is the how we we'll proceed in general for any of these algebra with triangular decomposition but just in this particular example so i will try to explain how to construct using the triangular decomposition and and we and and this will uh, will we do next for any algebra with triangular decomposition first of all you you have to know that the category of or oh, the, the the simple models over t is just this lambda because it's a field there is only one simple model and this simple model is the field because uh, here recall that t is the field um and then <clears throat> We, and, and then we we can see uh, there is a dejection between this and the simple modules over b plus and what is b plus where b plus is um, a plus t which is in, in, in okay i will write here what is b plus a plus a is the algebra d sub algebra t okay and this other part and the, this is like we call this a minus this is t and this is a plus and we will call all this subalgebra B plus, which is a subalgebra because one of the assumptions of the triangular decomposition is, is, is that if you multiply T by A plus, it's the same that multiply the sink of A plus by T. So it, it, this is a subalgebra. And in, okay, how, how, This is a bijection. We see that it is a bijection in general. And how you you construct this lambda, you this module over T will be a module over B plus, just by saying that X acting in one in one lambda is zero. We I repeat in everything maybe in a, in a little in a little bit more this is the easy way to construct this simple model in this case and this will be a little bit more sophisticated but it but it is the the way that we will construct in general so uh, in for this reason I will, I can show you in this easy example how it works Okay. Uh, okay, and then we can construct another module. We will construct another module, which I will denote this way, delta of lambda. It is the induced module in this way, this module. Here, this is a, a module. where we consider the action on the left as um, how to act something here just by multiplication
This is the induced module. How, if you have a module over the, the algebra be, below the tensor, you can uh, construct an, a module over all the algebra, in this case A, by tensoring on the left with A. And we can see that this as vector space, so let me show. This as vector space. This is equal to because of the triangular decomposition and the property of the tensor product. You have this is a minus tensor p e plus tensor p e plus lambda. This is isomorphic to a minus tensor lambda. So as a vector space, this is equal to one tensor lambda or one lambda. This is will be a basis. So let me write in this way because I want to emphasize about the degree. So this is a basis. Of the proper, we will call this proper standard module. And it, this is the basis. And as, as you say, we are in A minus. This is in degree zero. This is in degree zero. And this is in degree minus one. For this reason, I, I write this in this in this way. One, one up over the other one. And we can see how is the action of this of the x and y in these elements. So you can see that x acting in one tensor lambda is x tensor one lambda. So this means that when we act by x, this will go down and if we if how is the action of x in the other element of the basis this is x to the square on lambda and this is zero because x to the square is zero And we can see here how is the action of y. How is y acting in one tensor, one lambda? Oh, sorry. Now I see that I, I make a mistake here, p plus is what here is y because i consider b plus and um, y is in b plus um okay and how is the action y the i multiply so it is one and tensor lambda and as i consider the the tensor over b, b plus this is equal to one tensor no as just one. I pass to the right the y because we are tensoring over p plus and this is zero. I will follow in this blackboard so I can continue with the computation here. So we have this. Uh, 
So we, we see below that this the action of x go down. We see that and this go to zero. And now we see if we act by a, this is zero. And let me see what happens if I if we act x, uh, we compute this action. This is a x one lambda. But uh, this multiplication is uh, in A, which is the polynomial algebra, so we can switch. And then as uh, Y is in B plus, we can pass to the other side of the tensor product. And by definition, Y acting in one lambda is zero. Is zero is this zero so this means that the action of here in in this element is zero also so go down go up if you want and acting by zero so and also if we okay that in this case the uh, one uh, the action of t fix this component because it's just the field in this case, so there is no nothing to prove. But as a consequence, uh, we see that that the sub the m equal to the span of this element is a sum module is a sum module is a sum module because when you act by uh, by x goes gives zero and, and the same if, when you act by a so this this vector space here is a, is invariant by the action of a, and then you can consider the quotient. So in this way, we construct a sum module of the of this delta, the proper standard module. And if you can, you can consider the quotient will be isomorphic to as a vector space to this, uh, where it's it's a simple it's a simple a mode. So in this way, what, what we did, we construct. This is the simple model of the of the beginning, where you, if you act by x of by y, by y, this will be zero. Is this the simple model of the beginning? But uh, we will follow this this uh, this path in order to construct all the simple models in an algebra with a triangular decomposition. We first construct this uh, standard, this proper standard model, which is delta. And then we will prove that there is ever a sum module, which is maximal. And who, and when we take the question, will be a simple model over A, over the, the algebra with triangular decomposition. And we will see that every simple model can be constructed in this way. And we will try to do this next in general um, uh, we we can uh, uh, stop here uh, 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 and and after if you have some question we can you can ask now and then we will take a break so I, I, here i write the, um, the 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 main part of the definition of a, an algebra with triangular decomposition 
I don't put the last one because uh, for the for this moment I, I didn't need. Uh, I don't need. But uh, okay, I re we have an algebra which has as vector space is decomposed in these three parts uh, in the tensor product of three sub algebras which are graded. And the graded of this sub algebra satisfy this other condition. T is ever in degree zero, is contained in degree zero. And the positive part and the negative part is contained in positive and negative degrees. And the zero degree of this A plus and A minus is just the field. And the other condition is that the if you consider the source page or the yeah, the sub algebra generated by A plus and T. Uh, it is in a sub algebra which will be not B plus. And we obtain the same sub space if you multiply all the A on the left and T on the right, or in the other side, on, uh, or uh, in the, uh, on the other way, or you multiply all the element of T by all the element of A will obtain the same subspace. So uh, I will continue, I, I write some remarks. <clears throat> uh, okay. We can see that uh, if you consider the It is also a graded subalgebra, and the degree y, the component of the degree y, is equal to um, uh, t, t is equal as a vector subspace just to t multiplied by all the, all the homogeneous component of degree y of a. This is because uh, t is in degree zero and a, uh, okay, and this is just because t is in degree zero. And, and the, uh, here I follow this convention that if you consider two, two graded vector space and you can and take the tensor product. So the component of degree Y is equal to the direct sum of, uh, of the, the, all this. Yeah, here we are using this this convention, this is the usual convention of how is the degree of the tensor product. The degree of the tensor product is the direct sum of the tensor product of the homogeneous component, which when you sum the degree, you obtain A. Y. And as T is contained in degree zero, uh, in this case is a, is just T by the multiplied by the tensor by T. And um, okay. This is another observation is that uh, I will denote B in this way. B is strictly bigger than zero. This will be the direct sum of all the component of positive degree. Oh, yeah. And notice that, uh, okay, uh, this y. Maybe before, uh, uh, and also I can, we can say that b0, b plus 0 is just t. And another fact about this, uh, this b, uh, B plus, uh, bigger than zero is that it is nilpotent. Is an is, okay. Is 
infinite potem trivial. It is an ideal because when you uh, because it is an uh, it is a gradient subalgebra. So when you multiply, you uh, increase the degree. So for this reason, it's an, an ideal. It's my it's maintained. So because b y is a is contained in b a b a j in the sum of the degree and um, and the other and it is need potent because uh, because b is dim uh, finite dimensional As, as b plus is finite dimensional so there exists a degree a maximal degree so, and after this degree everything is zero so Yes, there exists some n for which after this n all the homogeneous component will be zero. So for this reason is the nipotent. It's an important idea. And now I, I uh, guess it's just in, in okay. So another observation which I follow this observation which are very useful. In the future, H is that okay. Yeah. Now, as as uh, as it is an important ideal, this one is contained in the radical of P plus. Which is the sum of all the nonpotent ideal. The radical of B plus of or any algebra is the sum of over all the nonpotent ideals. And what what is the 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 property of the radical is that if you consider B plus Is a, um, is it, this will be the maximal uh, semi-simple quotient of B plus. And every simple model is uh, is appear as a model over this semi simple algebra. That means that the, the, the simple model over B plus are the same that the simple model over this quotient algebra. And you can, okay, I can, can now 
Ah, I jump here. <laughs> Sorry. And um, okay. Um, what do you want to say? Oh, okay. I want to say that B plus was quotient. This is an, we have an active morphism over this one. You can quote, uh, as, uh, as the B, uh, B bigger than zero is, con is contained in the, is contained in the radical. Is in the other way around. We have this at the end of At this is contained in, in, in this other ideal, we have this at And this is equal, and this is isomorphic to T. Because uh, because of the, the the observation that I write before here because of this, if we quotient B plus, we take out all the degrees positive, uh, strictly positive, we obtain only the, the zero degrees. And so, um, Yeah, so this means that okay, we have this this um, so this ensure. that any simple is a simple T model so if 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 we you if you we take a simple model over B plus then it will be a simple model over this quotient and therefore a simple quotient over t because of this epimorphism and um, and also if you have it okay if m if m is a simple model over t then m is a simple model over m over b plus because uh, using this action is M uh, because of the following functor. Now uh, I will define the functor which is very useful and we will use a lot which is inflation, we call inflation from T to B plus, which is a functor from the category of T module to the category of B plus module. If you have a module over T, then it is module over B plus with action B acting on M, 
is equal to um, b, uh, b bar, uh, I, I will see. P, the B, uh, and acting in M, where P is the projection from B plus to which is T. So we act, we, we see any T module as a B plus module through this uh, epimorphism of algebras. B acting on M the, uh, for, for see how B acts on M, we first apply this epimorphism and then apply the action. Uh, there is questions? Okay. Um, uh, okay, so in resume, uh, all this, all this, what I said before, say that uh, we have a bijection between the, the modules, between the simple modules over T and B. And, 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 and repeat all of what I, I said before. Um, okay, I, I come here, sorry. This question, you can find in this algebra all the simple models over V plus. Uh, uh, the, uh, so, in particular, any simple model over this algebra will be also the simple model over T. And then every simple model over T will be a simple model over B plus because of this phantom, because we, ca we can uh, uh, pass from one category to another category using inflation. Uh, for details, I. Uh, I recommend to see uh, Curtis, the book of Curtis and Reiner. It's a very nice uh, book to, to learn about all about this uh, basic on in theory of algebra. This is where the question of, of before of, of Corneli. I, I, I can, uh, it's fine, uh, Corneli, uh, can, can you understand me? Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well. So what what I what we did we, we emphasize some remark of properties of this uh, algebra B plus T and their category of module, and mainly that the simple model are in bijection between the simple model of T and B through this inflation factor, if uh, inflation we introduced before, this one. And, and now I, uh, I will introduce this proper standard model that in the example I denoted delta bar. I will now define more precisely and in general this functor. This, uh, yeah, it would be a functor. Um, and then I will tell you, I will tell you some property of them. Okay, I will keep here the, the definition of the triangular decomposition. And this, uh, so what this would be is as a new section, which is proper standard models or proper standard.
<clears throat> so definition uh, I will denote it as I said before delta bar this will be a functor which will go from this is a tensor b plus This is a functor which goes from the category of T modules to the category of A modules. We can see it as a functor and for more precisely, if you have a, a module over T, then delta bar m it is a, a tensor b plus m this is a module over um, sorry 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 i forget something inflation here I have to put this in inflation factor that introduced before. This is model over A. We call this, we call, uh, we call delta bar M the proper standard module module associated to M. Just to be more clear, let me say how is the action of this module A. So if um, is A tensor M uh, is in delta bar M, it's just vector space, uh, uh, which is this one, this vector space. Mm -hmm. So A is in A and M is in N in the model M and X is in A. So how acts X in this tensor? Just by multiplying the first factor. This is the action, the action of using models. So now I want to see some properties of of these models. Some very basic property. There is some question. question let me show you now by some dilemma dilemma
And as I said before, this is the lemma three, three, eight of, of Bellam ETL. I follow this notation in order to, you can look there for more details. And what, what say this lemma? That's three parts. The properties, okay, M is in, is a T module. If the proper standard module, it is isomorphic to B minus, B minus tensor over T of M. In this isomorphism is in the category of B minus module, B minus. And if we see this as a module now, this tensor is over the field. Is in mod, is, this is a morphism is in the category of A minus models. And also, if we see this as a module over T, we have this other property. This is in the category of T models. So this is a description of the proper standard model in different, in three different categories. And the proof is not so difficult if we understand well the, the statement. So if there is some question, you can ask or I start with the proof. Okay, all, all, all of them, all, all these, all these properties follows from the, follows from, inspect for, um, inspection in the dimension by con oh, this followed by considering the dimension in fact And we consider first, we note first that as a vector space, all this will be as a, first of all, this for the, for definition, this is A, B plus tensor inflation. And I write all this as a vector space, it is equal to, as a vector space, this is in isomorphism of vector spaces, uh, tensor, mm -hmm. uh, B plus, tensor B plus, M because the inflation is just the same M with a different action. And then this is isomorphic as vector space to A minus the tensor M. And also, oh, oh, this, this is A minus tensor T. 
C tensor A plus. No, I think just let me let's here. Let's stop here. Uh, so and for the other side, if you consider B minus tensor T on the other side. I, I I will see I I will observe how is this right hand side of as vector space this is isomorphic also as vector space to, uh, okay a So as, as vector space, both sides of this isomorphism that we want to prove are the same or are, has the same dimension. So we have to construct, therefore, it's enough to construct an epimorphism from here to here in order to prove that it is an isomorphism. And I will construct easily. Now, so we define Um, this morphism from B just the identity is it We, we don't do nothing, just we see B tensor M. This is the left, the right hand side here. We, we can go send this to the same element over the, over the right hand side, over the proper standard model, because you see the, as vector space, the, uh, um, B is in B minus, so it's also in A because it's a, a B minus is a sub algebra of A. So you can consider B tensor M in this vector space, B tensor M, or in the proper standard model. And this identification is a model, is a morphing. Is, uh, is an amorphism. It's a morphism and I have to go, I will, I will erase this part. Is a morphism of A modules. No, A module no. B minus modules, which is surjective. It is surjective because we see that the co the proper standard module you see is is this vector space so it is surjective then it is a b minus morphism which is surjective and both space has the same dimension Therefore, it is an isomorphism.
and this proves the first part. Because we construct an isomorphism between these two modules over Bn, B minus. This is clear, there is some question. I'm, uh, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, and the other part, and the second part is followed in the in the similar way. We have we do the same. We send a minus tensor m to identify identify both space. So C and C follow in the same way. C also. Uh, so I, I don't do the, the, the I don't write the the proof of this other two part, but it are is it is proven in the same way. Okay. What what I can what I can and uh, another co uh, a direct consequence of the lemma of the, the lemma above it, it is is another lemma it tell it tell us some proper another properties in the graded cases so oh no before the lemma I want to sorry. I want to to see some um, mm. sorry I, I would follow with the yeah confusing but well, I will, yeah, some remark. A remark. Um, okay. As uh, we see before, uh, Notice that uh, I I will draw how how I imagine this uh, or how we can imagine this this proper standard models. So let me take some lambda just for because we will use this case later. Let me consider lambda and simple module over T. So in this case. We have that, and uh, this is, you see, this is uh, the, as in, this is in the category of B minus modules. And, uh, And this is equal to a vector space, we say, and uh, one out also, okay. well, so as module over a minus. So a minus is all in degree, in negative degree. So 
So we can draw this uh, this standard model as we have lambda in the in the top. It is in degree zero because how is the degree of degree zero? As you see here, because of this decomposition of this isomorphism, will be a minus degree zero as of lambda here is the PL, sorry and because of the this other assumption this is just one tensor lambda of the PL which you want and uh, so uh, we have lambda in the uh, and this is isomorphic to lambda as T model so uh, we can draw this proper standard model as we have lambda in the top in degree zero and all the and we have a lot of things we have like a mountain this is will be the proper standard model the model we um, we have something in degree minus one, degree minus two, and so on. This is a way to we can imagine these proper standard models. And another um, another thing that follow from the before lemma. You see, is that uh, this is a submodule. So I follow with the remark, but I don't want to erase this. Is a, is a nice submodule. of of the proper standard model because uh, when you multiply uh, if you take a tensor b tensor lambda this is equal to this and uh, and this is uh, and if b is in has positive uh, degree then this is also in positive in positive degree uh, sorry no no uh, sorry uh, here no same model i want to put b plus model No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry, uh, here, here is not positive. Here is negative because we are all a minus and the negative part also of B. And here also the same. Here also the same. So see if D is in negative degree, this is also in negative degree degree if A and B is or negative degree. So it is a submodule. And delta and the proper standard model quotient O by this model is isomorphic to inflation of lambda from T 
to B minus. Uh, here, uh, inflation to B minus is defined in the same way that to B plus. And it is a simple. It's simple. Is that you, you, we can see in the, in the draw, if, if you multiply something which is here by something of degree minus, you will still go down. So for this reason, all of this will be a sub module. And when you quotient all, and you take off all this out, you, uh, you obtain just the lam uh, lambda, which is a, a T module. And as this is a, a B minus model, uh, when you act by B minus will be zero. So because if you act, if you take a, a in B minus, when you act by one tensor, something in lambda, it is equal to a tensor lambda, is below to this one. So it is zero in the quotient. So what I say here in this remark is that if you consider this, this sum module in the proper standard module, this sum module over the negative over P minus, you can take out and obtain this inflation uh, uh, module over P minus. Uh, we, uh, we will use this uh, later in order to prove another thing okay okay we have time now i i, I will Yes, I will write lemma 39, 39, which is a consequence of this other lemma. Now I, uh, we will restrict to the case of M uh, to be a graded model. And we will suppose that it is contained in some degree. Such that. So we suppose that this M is contained in a single degree. Uh, so then, it, it's something that I said before in the case of lambda is if you consider the degree I, y of this proper standard model is the, the degree y minus d minus d tensor M and it is because uh, how how is the degree of the tensor product which is the tensor the degree of the tensor product we have to plus the degree of this plus the degree of T and so all the degrees of the proper standard model as I say in the in the previous example is that um, it's contained in degree 
uh, less than D. So the support. Now I introduce some new notation. It's contained in T minus the natural numbers. Here, support, uh, support of some module is the set of y of integers such that the homogeneous component of degree y is different to zero. And this part C of the lemma is what we are we already proved in the in the case of m equal to lambda is that uh, if you consider the part of degree D corresponding to M, so the, the maximal degree is isomorphic to uh, really we don't prove that. Okay. Okay. If you consider all only the the maximal degree of the proper standard module, it is isomorphic to, to M to the inflation of M to B plus. And all of, all of this, it is consequence of the other three parts of the, of the lemma below, uh, uh, before lemma. There is some question or some comment? Okay. Uh, what mean? Francisco, though, uh, which is the meaning of this? This means that M uh, is just MD. So all the comp all the elements are in degree D. So and the other component will be zero. Yeah, okay. So, 10 minutes, we have 10 minutes. Okay, maybe I, I will write the, the main theorem. I, I will write the, the main theorem. Maybe we can show, we have to show you Prove it tomorrow. Let's maybe. <clears throat> this is theorem. Continue. This is part, this result, this theorem is part of the theorem 313 uh, three, of the development tool. So you can see the detail there. Um, so if you take, la, uh, sorry, no. Before lemma, is I'm very sorry, but I have a mess. Yes. Okay. 
before the theorem, we can do another thing before. So, oh well, yeah, yeah it, it, let me start with a new section, simple models. And I give you some notation given the module M. I recall that a rad, uh, the radical of M, this is for module over any algebra, it is the maximal, no, it is the intersection of the maximal submodules. And the head, uh, for any, for see details about this, and as I said before, I, 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 I recommend you to, to see the, the book of Curtis Reiner, where all this is play, explained it very well. Um, but as this is the radical of a module, is the intersection of all the maximal submodules, and the head, the head of a module, it is the module quotient of by the radical, and this is the maximal semi-simple quotient. And, and we will see that in the case of the proper standard module, this the head of it is ever simple. It's only there is only one simple quotient. So I will. So the theorem, which will we prove tomorrow. is the following. We probe that. If lambda is a simple module over T, then the head of the proper standard module is simple. So the proper standard model has only one simple model, so only one simple quotient, and we will denote the, this quotient by L lambda. And we will see that there is a bijection between the simple model over T and the simple modules over A. So this uh, is a bijection. And this give, you, give us a classification of the simple model of A. How? We first construct the proper standard module, then we take the head, so the, the unique simple quotient, and this gives you a, a classification of the simple model over the uh, over the algebra A, just as in the beginning, of, uh, as I, I explained it in the in the very small example at the beginning of of the talk today. Uh, and 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 tomorrow I uh, we will prove this theorem. Yeah. Uh, it, if there is some question or comment you can write in the chat or you can speak as you want. Uh, 
sorry if it was uh, very confused at the beginning and <laughs> I am some nervous. Tomorrow I will try to do a better work for <laughs> you, but uh, you can ask everything, don't worry. Well, as there is no question, I will post just a, an exercise in order to you can replace, uh, you can uh, see all the definition in order to see tomorrow in order to you can practice some of the definition that we do today, exercise. And the, 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 the aim of the exercise is to prove that the certain algebra, the small quantum group, Lustig uh, small quantum group is a admitted triangular decomposition. So you can, let's, uh, U, Q, Q would be a, a root of unity of order two to the n integers. So U, Q, S, L, two is the algebra generated by A, K, and F such that and with these relations, K to the to the two n is equal to one. A to the n is equal to f to the n is equal to zero. And uh, k e k to the minus one the inverse it is an inverse because this we because of the relation generated group this q to a square a and k f k s minus one q minus two f and another relation there is one relation more I write here f e f f minus f e is equal to k minus k minus one over q minus q one minus one. So the exercise is. Prove that uh, UQ SL2 admits a triangular decomposition. Admits a triangular decomposition. And you can describe So the, I propose you in this exercise to prove that this algebra generated by A, K, and F with this relation admitted triangular decomposition, and then you can describe the, the proper standard modules. And the T in this case, I as a help, will be generated by K. It will be a group, an abelian group. So you can try to describe the proper standard model, as I say, as I as I, I did it for the very small example at the beginning of the course, which is an, an algebra very similar to this, but now it's a little bit more bigger. So I, I finish with this. <clears throat> 